This is our second tutorial working towards creating our sweet dispenser in CAD. In this tutorial, we'll be creating the dispensing drawer. So we need to get, go and open up Autodesk Inventor. I've already got it open, but if not, you'll need to go into the start menu and I'll go into Autodesk or Autodesk Inventor. We'll have to go up to the new and the little page icon. Again, we want to make sure we're using metric under templates. So to make sure metric selected, and then standard MM, standard millimeters, that is, under part, and click create. So this is bringing us up a new working space. Just as we did before, we're going up to start 2D sketch. And this time, we're going to select the one that's kind of horizontal, like a flat base one, and that is called the XZ plane. We can see it's quite small at the front there. Just make sure the same one is highlighted in red as I've got selected here, and we're clicking on that there. Again, this is giving us a kind of flat sheet of paper to work on. We're going to have to use the rectangle, two point centre rectangle. If that's not what comes up when you hover over it, click under rectangle, the little drop down arrow, and go down to rectangle, two point centre, and click there. Just as we did with the last tutorial, we want to hover over that little yellow dot in the middle there until it goes green and then we click and drag ours out. Don't worry too much about what size you're dragging out to in this one. You can just click as we have a kind of rough shape roughly like that there. Now we can click on dimensions. And we can go down and click on that top line again. And click above it. We want this to be 150 long, so 150 and that is in millimetres. So we just click the green tick or press enter, and it may get a little bit smaller or it may get bigger. If it appears, it seems to disappear off the screen, just make sure you zoom out a little bit, or in this case, I'm zooming in a little bit so I can see it, see it a little bit clearer. So we've got a dimension along the top. Just as before, we need a dimension to say how wide that block's gonna be. So we're gonna hover over that right line until it goes red, clicking on it, and then clicking off to the right there, we want this block to be 40 millimeters wide. So four zero, and you can press enter to take the little green tick. So that's our block done. We can now click finish sketch. And that's going to take us back to our 3D environment. To get our block, uh, to turn our block from a 2D sketch into a 3D object though, we need to click extrude as we've done before. So clicking on extrude, we want our block to be 20 tall, much like we did with our frame, we want to use the symmetric tool. So below the dimension, we can type in 20 there, and then rather than having it going direction one, we want to go across two with an arrow going either direction and click symmetric, and we can click OK there. Next up, we need to add the holes that we also drilled in our block, I will drill in the block in the workshop. Click on 2D sketch again, and this time we want to click the top surface. So we need to make sure we draw holes in the right direction. So much like we mark out in the workshop, we're going to add some lines to help ensure that our holes are in the right place. So we're going to go up to the line tool and just click on that there. We then want to hover over the left hand side where the line that's kind of running right across our screen meets the edge of our block. And if we go towards the middle of that where they intersect, you'll see our line, our pointer goes green, and we can click there. And that means it's kind of the, selected the middle of that line, or the middle of the block there. And we're going to go all the way across to the far side, see if we can get that to go green again there. And we can click again. Now you can just press escape to deselect that tool. We want to change this line to what we call a construction line, a line that's helping us to construct our sketch and our object. So to do that, we're gonna hover over it until it goes red and we're gonna right click. And we can then move our mouse to construction. And that's not a construction line. And that's just there to help us create the rest of our sketch. So we want to drill and add some circular holes. So we can go up to circle, click on circle, and then we can run down until we're on our construction line there. 
And you'll see once you go over that, it kind of snaps to it once you get close. It wants, it wants to attach itself to that line. So don't worry exactly where on the line you're clicking. But just make sure we're clicking on that construction line that we added and we're dragging that out. What you can do when you drag out, we can actually then type in the numbers. So we want the circle to be 30 millimeters wide. So we can just type free zero and then press enter. And that circle is now 30 millimeters wide. We need to make sure it's in the right location so that we get right, the right distance from the end of the block. So we're going to go up to our dimension tool. We're going to click on the center of our circle. Oops. If you select something by accident, like I have here, you can just press escape to get rid of that. And we'll go back up to the dimension tool and you can click the center of that circle when it's highlighted red. And then you can click, once you've, that appears to kind of disappear, you can then click on the end of the block there. And we've had a slight issue there. We've correct, selected that line. So let's try that again. We're going to click on the dimension tool and click on the end line of the block. And then we're going to click on the center of that circle. So it's better to go for the end line there rather than the center of the circle. So we can drag that up off our block and then we can just click to release it there. And then we can type in the dimension we want. In this case, we want the dimension of 40. And you can press return or type the green tick. So that's 40 millimeters from the end of the block. Now, we also need a little hole at the other end of our block. So again, we can click the circle tool. We can then head down towards our line. And again, it's going to snap into that line. So we can just click on it. It's going to be towards the right-hand side of the block. And we can just drag that out. Don't click. Remember, we can enter the dimension as before we finish creating the circle. So this time we want it to be 6.5. So that's 6.5 entered, and we can press return. And you see that's created there already. You'll notice that that circle's black. That means that if we want to move it, we can drag it around on that line there. So that's not ideal. So instead, we need to define how far it is away from the end of the block. So we want to go up to the dimension tool. And this time, we're going to select the end of the block. Remember that worked better last time. And then we can click the center of that circle. And we've got a dimension pops up there. We can click to position it. And then we want this to be 10. So we're going to type in 10 there. And then just press the green tick. And that's 10 millimeters away from the end. So that's our sketch added. We know where we want our holes to be. Now we need to make sure the holes appear on our block. So we can click Finish Sketch. This takes us back into our 3D environment. Now we're going to go up and click Extrude. So we now need to select both the holes that we want to add. So we're going to click in that one there. You see it goes red. And we're also going to click in that area, the other small circle, and that also goes red. As you see, it's currently adding material on. We want to add these as holes, so we need to use the Cut tool instead which again is in the middle menu of our extrude little pop-up. We can click cut. And yes, we're happy for this to go all the way through. So we can just click OK. And our block's starting to look like what we've made in the workshop. So the one last thing we want to do is just as we did with our frame, we want to add a little bit of a rounded corners to the edge. So we can go and click fill it. We can go into radius and we can just click in there. We can type one, and that'll be a one millimeter radius when I add to all our block edges. I'm going to go down to select mode here and click feature. We're going to hover over our block again, make sure all the lines are edge lines are selected. You see, if you hover over other features, they can, will sometimes go red as well. But we'll make sure the outside block has all its lines red. We can click there, and you'll see they go blue. And at this point here, you can just click OK. And they will then have a filler added to them, and the menu will close itself. We can then go up to default again at the very top, and we can change the appearance of this here. So we have a yellow pine again, because that's what we used to make it. So clicking on yellow pine, that's added to the block. And now we can go and save this. So we can go up to File, Save As. 
and we want to navigate to save it in the same place as we saved our frame. I've saved this under my OneDrive, in my S2, and I've created a folder called CAD in there. And we can save this as a drawer. Click Save. So that's our drawer created.